Welcome to part two of the Team World Motivation Blog Talk Radio Show. We'll kick off our motivation session with a good second part two to our mini series for children on divorce. And this gets into the second half of why divorces happen and also the reasons why your parents decide that they don't need to be together or one party decides that the marriage is insufferable, intolerable, or a level of revolting to where mommy and daddy can't stay together or there's levels and depths of abusive divisive antics that are being done on a repeated level to where the marriage can no longer work and there's animosity there and it's no longer healthy for mother or daddy to be together especially if there's vicious cruelty hostility or levels of upset and uproar that are being caused by one party more than the other party it would be for example in my case where um I was leaving for the fact that the person that continues to find a level to erode mental health, emotional health, and sanity continues to cause a level of upset, likes to try to get under the skin, and loves to cause a level of positivity and anger that I never had before. And in that, when you're not naturally inclined to be an abusive person or not inclined to be a hostile person or not inclined to a lot of drama and the person creates it morning, noon, and night, 24 hours, 7 days a week, constantly makes you uncomfortable, constantly upsets you, constantly finds a way to get underneath your skin and finds a way to provoke gaslight, emotionally torment, vicious cruelty, levels and depths of inhumane um, treatment, or mistreatment to the point that you can't stand the sight of them or you can't stand the sound of their voice or you feel a level of hatred towards them that you never felt before that is when there is grounds for divorce because there's nothing that can make that marriage work there's nothing that um, relationship counseling can do to make that relationship work in any way shape or form and it's just like we were talking about things are child's play but when a person is an adult being childish and abusive towards another adult that puts another variable into the situation that children don't often understand and when you have other adults that are guardians that are parental alienating or causing levels of upset and hostility and animosity in that offboarding from that relationship there is a level of you're having multi-perpetrator violence in a relationship or a marriage and then that marriage will dissolve even of itself but become even further dissolved because of the other parties involved and then on top of that there is no hope for reconciliation at that point the marriage becomes more revolting day by day week by week year by year that you stay in it and then on top of that when there are other parties with vested interests or causing levels and deep animosity or longevity of long drawn out divorce issues or problems and stress with the kids that becomes the level where the poison it's just like poisonous air or a tampered AC in it or a vicious cruel inclined wealthy man who's married to a woman who's not as wealthy and feels inclined to abuse like for example Mr. Rothschild Mr. Whitfield or Mr. Allison or Mr. Petty or Mrs. Petty or Mr. Carter or Mrs. Carter just like I was saying just like the technology abuse with Miss Tarok and people who are inclined to be demonic deadly homicidal disgusting low down sociopathic who have nothing better to do but be miserable sociopaths that cause issues and problems or like to stir the pot or cause levels of abusive devices of antics on in offline or in the community or like to cause a level of American horror story in your life when you're de dealing with a divorce or wanting to divorce a vicious cruel inclined person and that would be examples like Mr. Whitfield or Mr. Rothschild or you know levels and depths are Mr. Allison, Mr. Petty you know things like that or Mr. Carter, Mrs. Carter things like that when you have people who are divisive and cruel in nature and then when you have those people that you have to work with or you would be forced to work with and you find a level of hostility in the work environment and then also in your home environment and divorcing say Mr. Whitfield or divorcing Mr. Allison and then you have Mr. Petty that's inclined or his disgusting despicable psychopath wife who feels inclined to cause levels of upset and uproar or going in federal records that she had no business going into on behalf of Mr. or Mrs. Carter so then when you're dealing with technology abuse on top of that vicious cruelty or antics and things like that and then when you're dealing with times up me too type of things like that then there's levels and depths of uproar upset hostility animosity that comes from the marriage then you're dealing with at work and then you're dealing with people who need to be either fired walked out in handcuffs or levels of booked and charged for 
online and offline abuse that will be examples like mrs lawson that would create fake accounts on the behalf of miss carter or mr carter and technology abuse and then you're dealing with mr whitfield then you're dealing with mr rothschild who gets involved in the situation third party adjacent and then there's levels of deaths of violating your personal phi and doing things like that so when you're talking about multi-perpetrator violence that's what are prime examples of vicious cruelty and divorce and dealing with a psychopath, sociopath, or cerebral somatic narc, or a Machiavellian type of narc, who finds it inclined to poison your air supply. It's kind of like Ivy Tarok, or you're talking about Mr. Allison, Mrs. Allison, or you're talking about Mr. Copeland, Mrs. Uh, Copeland, or you're talking about Mr. Petty, Mrs. Petty, or Mr. Allison, Mrs. Allison. Then when you're talking about those type of poisons, people, devices, people, and then you're dealing with a guardian on top of that, which you're talking about vicious cruelty and divorce and a parent who is divisive and things like that whether it's maternal or paternal who are causing levels of animosity hostility and offboarding from a divorce from a wealthy well-connected community terrorist or douchebag or what they call a divisive person who wants to cause a level or elicit a level of insanity or emotional abuse torment provoking gaslight hostility then when it overlaps into your job and then when you have to go home and raise your children who are pulled in the middle of sociopath psychopath stuff that are being done to the non what I would call non-abusive parent or non-device parent. That would be an example of me. I'm the non-device parent, non-abusive parent, but I have guardians in the middle. And then I have other people who want to stir the pot and cause issues. Say, for example, Mr. Rothschild or levels and depths of Mr. Whitfield or levels and depths of Ms. Tarrock or other people who are involved in the situation just in third party who want to cause levels of upset, uproar, pro emotional abuse, torment, provoke, and gaslight like Mr. Carter, Mrs. Carter, and that's what the IT hacks, IP hacks, and levels of emotional abuse and continued levels of provocation. So when you're talking about that and divorce and divorce is imminent and really at the point looming over the situation because there are poisonous people, not only just Ivy Tyrock who's poisonous and her emotional, mental abuse and things like that and her involvement, third party and usury and things like that and then causing levels of upset, uproar in a workspace environment and then, you know, stirring the pot, being messy and abusive. Then you have the other things with other people who are adjacent and that you no longer have contact with but the remote contact is the IT abuse, the technology abuse, the remote, the gaslight and that would be Mr. and Mrs. Carter. You know, those examples or someone like Mr. Rothschild going in your federal records that are sealed, just like Mrs. Petty. Mr. Petty going in your federal records that are sealed and playing in your face. So those would be levels of animosity and then dealing with an AC unit tampering and that would be vicious cruelty and offboarding and divorce and economic abuse, economic terrorism and environmental terrorism and, and environmental abuse. So that's why we're talking about inhumane mistreatment in the last live and where we're talking about the last levels of things in the last podcast about vicious cruelty and divorce and levels of divisive antics and abusive and emotional abuse, torment, provoke, and gaslight. So when we're talking about communicating with your child, we're also talking about communicating with adults. And a lot of times you have to take yourself to the level with divisive adults. So when you're dealing with poisonous air or you're talking about reduction in air, carbon, CO2 and things like that, kind of example of a woman called my phone the other day asking for a perfume. I have a perfumes business, okay, on the side. And that's Diva Fragrance Emporium. Just in case you kiddos want some cologne, perfumes, makeup and different things like that, you may buy from Diva Fragrance Emporium. But this woman decided to call my phone. I never gave out this number to anybody other than my clients. So not only did this woman talk about she wanted a cologne called Carbon, Carbon. There is no cologne called Carbon. But she decided she wanted to play. But there was um, gas released in my house, an AC unit that was tampered that said ODC on the bottom. So seeing as though my AC unit was certified fixed and there shouldn't be any air supply problems, but constantly I was having levels of issues with the air supply in the house and the AC had been tampered and it was certified that the uh, AC unit was on a delay. So it means it was tampered with the service I didn't have. So when we're talking about effective levels of provoke gaslight, remote tampering and community tampering terrorism, and we're talking about community um inability to not be divisive or choosing a side you're talking about a wealthy man say mr rothschild you're talking mr whitfield or other people who are wealthy or well connected or have good playing jobs but can be divisive like Daddy, mrs petty who can be divisive and do a lot of abuse like mr carter mrs carter who could sit there and cause levels of upset just like mrs lawson who created fake accounts and things like that online and then has went after online and things like that and it's divisive to my deploying my 
programs and things like that as a coach, life coach, and things like that. So when we're dealing with levels of that, there is no proactiveness in there that promotes negativity and negative behavior or negative reaction like narcissistic abuse syndrome and things like that. And ineffective ability to have self-control because they're controlling the narrative and causing levels of poisonous behavior just like Ivy Tarok, the same person that was being a very uh, mutual exclusive exclusive to this situation being messy provoking gaslighting but was getting paperwork from me but never paid for it but i did it out of kindness to my heart then she turned around and played my face so that's what we're talking about workplace violence and then we're talking about intimate partner violence and then we're talking about multi-perpetrator violence and then when you're dealing with vicious cruelty and a divorce and you have wealthy well-connected people who are willing to cause a level of dark reality and level of emotional abuse torment provoking gaslight in the workplace and use workplace times up me to violence and emotionally abuse torment provoking gaslight and bully and recruit their other friends and there's prime examples of that where one of uh, several men that I dated who uh, outside the person that I was with for a long time as a common law wife and then on top of that dealing with intimate partner violence in a divorce setting it would be the same exact thing divorcing Mr. Whitfield or divorcing Mr. Grasty or divorcing Mr. Petty or things like that where you would have levels of depths of Mr. Carter, Mrs. Carter, Mrs. Lawson causing levels of upset uproar and then you have the guardians in between grandmothers, parents, per paternal and then non-paternal that are causing levels of uproar, parental alienation, poisoning a child, and mental, emotional thoughts of the parent that's not abusive or not counter-parenting, but co-parenting willingly. So when you're dealing with that, then I have a baby's father, and then when you're having levels of divisiveness, upset, uproar, provoking, gaslighting, poisonous air supply, levels of playing with the AC unit like E and T, and things like that, and when you're being told about this, and then you have divisive, vicious cruelty, like the locksmith unlocking my door, and doing things like that, and continuing to do this for months, weeks, and years, while I'm stating what's going on, or going to law enforcement, going to police, and then they want to sit there and act like that's not happening. They want to explain emotional abuse, torment, provoke, gaslight, vicious cruelty. They want to crazy make and act like that doesn't happen. But when you're dealing with wealthy people like Mr. Rothschild, or you're dealing with the wealthy people like Mr. Whitfield, or you're dealing with Mr. Petty, Mrs. Petty, people who have a lot of money, a lot of ends, and a lot of wealthy, well-connected people like Mr. Carter, Mrs. Carter, who are divisive, Mrs. Lawson, who created levels of divisiveness in workplace setting. There's levels and depths of emotional abuse, torment, provoking gaslight, and wealthy people who should be going to jail and be charged and booked. And then when you're dealing with emotional abuse, and then we're talking about drama and creating levels of divisive drama, uh, IT hacks, IP hacks, and emotional abuse and torment, provoking gaslight, and bullying, and effective levels of community terrorism, and then on top of that, civil criminal offenses and multi-perpetrator violence, where like the guy T that stole my sales and tax use, my EIS at my house, played in my face, then when I'm told by the Department of Revenue, then you're dealing with financial abuse, economic abuse, course of control. So when we're talking about role modeling, those are not examples of good role models. You're talking about divisive, abusive people who are continuing to do things remote and able to do so because they have a skills ability or able to hire someone to do that. Then we're talking about encouraging emotional violence and emotional abuse, torment, provoking gaslight. Then we're talking about the law enforcement failure to intervene or when you go to levels of AG or you go to your governor and nobody does anything. And then prime example will be a case in Columbia, South Carolina where a rich white man did just rich white wife had her misdiagnosed um, you know, and grace the pockets of the therapist, psychiatrist, psychologist, the psychiatrist, therapist, psychologist shouldn't have had their pockets grazed and went along with the abusive device of antics. It's the same thing with a politician doing the same exact thing. And then when those people are six degrees separated, third, third degree separated, then you have levels and depths of torment, provoke, gaslight, emotional abuse, community abuse, environmental terrorism. And then you're having these wealthy people, like example, Mr. Rothschild, uh, Mr. Whitfield, Mrs. Carter, Mr. Carter, and you're talking about Mr. and Mrs. Petty, and then you're talking about levels of device of antics, abusive antics, and then what overlaps to a job. And then when you're talking about people who are willing to sit there and give you hassles and the raunchiness and the absurdiness and the levels of emotional abuse, to tor torment, provoke, gaslight, IT hacks, IP hacks, vicious cruelty, inhumane and emotional abuse, mental abuse, environmental terrorism, community terrorism, and recruiting others to be involved in that. And then we are onboarding in a relationship and a divorce that causes levels of despicable emotional levels of torment, vicious cruelty, and offboarding in that divorce. Therefore, when you're trying to explain this to kids, that it's hard to explain that daddy is a sadistic, psychotic, somatic, cerebral narc. It's difficult to explain that stepdaddy is evil, mean, a sociopath, psychopath, and is willing to hurt mommy. 
or you have a level and depth of a divorce that's looming over two parties that otherwise would have been a great couple, but you're starting to realize you didn't know what you married or you were being with, and you realize the person is a covert narcissist, enjoys provoking to and, and levels of emotional abuse, torment, provoking, gaslighting, or when they have the skills and abilities for IT and things like that and are willing to go to the links and, and do devilment, torment, provoking, gaslight, emotional abuse, and aggravate, agitate, and cause levels of animosity and hostility. That's where some of those levels of reality comes into play. And when they're well connected to other people who are in other industries and things like that and begins to overlap, then you have a level of hostility there. Then when you're talking about a person who is not divisive, not trying to be a counterparent, not trying to be poisonous to a child, not trying to poison a child's mental health or emotional health, and when you're dealing with that many divisive adults, what does that happen to the child? The child becomes a pawn in that and then in the example of my life where I came upon my daughter and levels of poisons people like Miss Tyrock or you're talking about Mr. Whitfield you're talking about Mr. Rothschild you're talking about levels of Mrs. Carter Mr. Petty Mr. Petty Mrs. Lawson levels and depths of multi-perpetrator violence and then you're talking about an AC unit that was tampered but it was certified to be fixed and then you've got these levels of emotional abuse and torment provoking gaslight with neighbors who won't tell on themselves or telling each other per the mailman then you've got levels and depths of messing with mail in redirecting mail, doing all kind of unauthorized things to the person who's the target of the obsession or the levels of emotional abuse, torment, provoking gaslight after these people have been called out. So when you're dealing with these non-levels of non-conducive emotional abuse, torment, provoke and gaslighting, inhumane, inhuman, vicious cruelty, then you're talking about a locksmith unlocking the doors, the levels of emotional abuse and torment, compromising someone's safe and their safety mechanisms and their feelings of safeness and then trying to play emotional abuse and then using sound bites or going and invading someone's privacy and you know levels and depths of causing true crime and causing levels and depths of 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 sadistic, psychotic, cerebral, somatic, or dark triad of emotional abuse being poisonous and, and emotionally abusive to someone and causing psychological abuse and emotional abuse and causing their house to be a level of a little house of horrors and people knowing what the person is doing and finding it funny. There's nothing funny about being abusive and divisive and then using a child as a pawn and that's including guardians at, at Lightham that feel the need to want to unethically medically kidnap a child or cause levels of torment to where the child's breaking down. So that's where you have a ineffective adults and then um, ineffective discipline and then you know when you're going to do the responsible thing and you call the help and the help is no help or encourages and coaches the child like DC now and I had that experience with that and then them rewarding the child for divisive behavior or using the child as a pawn it happened with my daughter so when you're talking about um, the behavior itself and you're talking about feelings about the behavior and the child involved and the concern for the child and teaching the child to be abusive divisive is not healthy nor is it okay and then when you're talking about levels of non-conducive technology abuse emotional abuse torment provoke gaslight emotional abuse vicious cruelty going and protect the health information using it in in scripts or using a person's personal life to torment provoke and gaslight and 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 humiliate and emotionally abuse and torment examples Miss Tarak or Mr. Rothschild or Mrs. Petty, Mr. Petty going in federal records that are sealed, Mr. Carter, Mr. Car Mrs. Carter and doing things like that and emotionally abusing someone and then tormenting them, aggravating them, agitating them on and off the job. That's no excuse for that. Those are levels of multi-perpetrator violence. So then when you're adding a child into that, that will teach the child to be abusive towards the non abusive parent or the non-divisive parent and then it becomes a level of animosity, legal abuse, emotional abuse, torment, provoking, gaslighting, community terrorism and then it's being enabled and at that point when people are grazing the pockets of the community and parental alienating and then you have the guardian adding more sauce to that then it becomes a divisive level of grandparent or non-grandparent or our non-custodial grandparent or levels and depths of toxic abuse, emotional abuse, coercive control and levels of where divorce is just flat out the only thing that can be done and when it's becoming a deadly situation or detrimental to the emotional health of the the custodial parent the non-violent parent or the non-abusive parent and the
the non-abusive parents being targeted by the other parties involved, the multi-perpetrator violence, then you're causing levels of depths of animosity that is so deep that there is no level and depth of the marriage going to be working out. There is no counselor, there is no therapist, there is no psychologist that's going to fix that. The only thing that that parent that's being targeted can do is go to therapy and, you know, see a psychiatrist, psychologist, and go through the levels of what the trauma that's been inflicted by Mr. Carter, Mr. Mrs. Carter, and Mr. Petty, Mrs. Petty, and then Mr. Potchild, and then Mr. Wood Willing, Mr. Whitfield and other such people that encourage Mr. Whitfield's divisive antics, abusive antics, emotional antics, and things like that. So then when you're talking about those prime examples of that and emotional violence and levels of gritty levels of torment provoked and gaslight, then eroding someone's presentations and their coaching. And when I have a coaching business and it affected my business or business models of other prior businesses, and then example like that woman playing on my phone asking for carbon, but there's CO2 that was seeped into my house. And when the AC unit was certified to be fixed with Proctor Air Engineering, and then it says ODC on the bottom, there's levels and depths of wealthy people well connected to the situation, and it became a level of emotional abuse, torment, provoking gaslight, them getting off real proper and being able to abuse at a remote level and doing whatever they want to do, community terrorism, and then causing levels of upset, and then levels of of, of loss and financial abuse, coercive control, economic abuse. And then on top of that, riveting levels of provocation and impeding investigations and causing levels of upset. And then factors affecting our ability and willingness to respond effectively or conducively and then trying to get false evidence and then run to courts, tell lies and do things like that. It happened to me. And then, you know, learning how to keep things small and simple and include the child in, in, in confronting behaviors that the child is picking up by learning from divisive, devilish, emotionally abusive, demonic, disgusting, out of order, trifling adults. It becomes a level of undoing these behaviors. And tangible awards and privileges as going through, you know, levels of the dark triad of abusive, divisive Machiavellianism and levels of... Uh, psychological torment and abuse, emotional abuse that was done to me, and then having to rebuild several businesses that this man adjacently destroyed, and then Department of Revenue letting me know, and then having to go through financial abuse in the levels of irreverent, irrevocable, irreconcilable differences that can't be resolved, and at that level it has to go to court. And it takes time to gain composure and self-control and then also giving the child time to recover from all that and change the behaviors that the child has learned how to be divisive, emotionally abusive towards the non-abusive parent or the non counterparenting parent and the parent that's not trying to counterparent but trying to co-parent but when you have counterparents or other people who are involved are becoming more dragged into the situation and becoming more divisive and non-conducive to the situation and then when you have DCNF that coached my child and things like that it was levels of having to resolve that and them getting involved and padding paperwork and things like that, being told about this and people that I knew that were involved in the situation it caused levels of animosity, hostility that can't be resolved other than charges filed, court dates, and restitution being done. Because you can't get back years with your child or your child being poisoned against you and then levels in depth of the child realizing that they've been used and that child having levels of trust issues and emotional torment and detriment. And that's where divorce is imminent. And that's where divorces get deadly and divisive antics like this, vicious cruelty and divorce happen. And then you're talking about when efforts fail to tell the child where to you know, go and how to get things done or when you're trying to be conducive as a parent to allow the child contact with the abusive parent because the courts are not always well versed in abusive divisive parenting or guardians or people who want the child and want to undermine the parenting of the custodial parent like it happened to me. It becomes a level of, you know causing emotional harm, torment, abuse, causing levels of hostility in the workplace, causing levels of emotional abuse and torment, bullying, harassment, provoking, gaslighting, times up mute you, antics. And then when a person is absolutely unwell and causing levels of unwellness and a person who's otherwise sane has their life together and when you have to be seen by a psychiatrist, psychologist, and they're saying, ma'am, you're suffering from PTSD and see PTSD from extreme abuse sexual abuse, emotional abuse, economic abuse, and financial abuse, that is something that will be so riveting and scandalous to you as the person who's not eliciting the abuse and having to have told people and went to law enforcement and nobody sat there and did anything. And when the other parties are 
are adjacently causing levels of drama or, you know, irreverent levels of abuse and permanent levels of hostility, animosity, and you're not trying to go and pass that on to the child or children involved, it becomes an omnipresence of their abusive antics, a gory level of emotional abuse, and levels of dystopianism, and levels of what I call enhancing the emotional abuse, not soothing the problem, but redirecting the targeting and abusive device of the antics towards the parent that's not being like that. And I was the target of that. And then, you know, childproofing a child from abusive people or abusive third parties or people who are stirring the pot, causing levels of divisiveness like the Ivy Tarak or the other people who sat there and played in my face like Stacey Morgenstern and Carrie Peterson that did this while I was doing my coaching certification. And then this man was providing them information about me, going in my protected health information, provoking gaslighting. It was levels of emotional abuse, divisive antics, and it really soured my um, experience as a coach. And getting my certification impeded that. But I had a certification prior to that. So it's still, I was able to bounce back from that. But there's a level of unwellness in the people that were involved. And then we're talking about Mr. Carter, Mrs. Carter, Mr. Petty, Mr. Petty, who went in my federal records that are sealed. Then you're talking about levels of abusive, divisive antics. And then I was dealing with the guy, Mr. Rothschild, which, you know, was a perfect stranger that came in. But there's levels of advice of antics and repetition of my personal private protected health information. And then when you're dealing with Mr. Whitfield, who's an IT tech and has a background in that. And there's levels of emotional abuse there because we used to be friends and there was levels of divisiveness there. So you never know who's an enemy, who's a snake. And then at this point in time, it became a level of divisiveness to where when it's like a common law marriage, once there's irreconcilable differences and irre irrevocable levels of abusive antic, divisive antics, and you're told that people have involvement in the situation, there's a level of, I don't want to marry, I don't want to be with you. There's nothing you can do about it. And once a woman's fed up, there's nothing you can do. And then, you know, childproofing a child from parental alienation is hard to do when you've got divisive people who are like a parent to a child. And then we have to make sure the children understand the reasons and rationale for the leaving of the marriage or prioritizing establishing a few rules that are important in the well-being and safety of that child and the child's emotional health and emotional welfare. Then there are levels and depths of finding a way for the child to understand and clear rules in that and positive and action-oriented specifications for that safety, emotional, mental, and then on top of that, dealing with economic course of control and financial abuse, offboarding for relation and post-separation abuse. There's the levels and depths of you having to find a happy medium and a ground to be able to have the child not be affected by it, not pulling that child into that, and the child not becoming the psychiatrist and psychologist when there are psychiatrists, psychologists, and coaches like myself that have dealt with this close and at hand and can help you through it because I've lived through it in real time. And then make sure that the rules grow with the child and adolescent, young adult, and make sure it's consistency, consistency in modifying the environment so that it's safe and healthy, not poisonous like having AC unit hackings, messing with doors, and the locksmith's the only one that has the key. Those are prime examples of compromising one's sense of safety. And then on top of that, levels of sound bites and getting and invading someone's privacy, tapping microphones, tapping in computers, messing with computers, remote hacking, causing levels of detriment and replacing devices or things like that, listening in on phones, and that can be done via technology abuse. And that's what I was acknowledging prior in the other uh, divorce uh coaching on that and then you know organizing enhancing and soothing the child and redirecting upset hostilities so that the child doesn't feel it because it can get really hostile can get really abusive scary and dark and on the presence of an emotional abuser stalker harasser agitated aggravated stalking and habitual harassment then you're dealing with the workplace violence violence and multi-perpetrator violence then you're dealing with that and the levels of limited resolution and resolve and the levels of threats bullying provoking gaslighting tormenting provoking gaslight of mr carter mrs carter and then mr petty mrs petty and then you're talking about levels of third parties like mr rothschild or mr whitfield that are involved loosely but it becomes a level of animosity because there's left several parties and then you got other people like mr ellie and then you got other people that get involved and they're perfect strangers but then again it becomes a level of divisive antics and tactics there 
So when we're talking about all these different things, and you got T and E that were messing with AC units, and then you're talking about other people, Mr. Allison, Mrs. Allison, and other people who have vested interest in the situation, and Mr. Petty, Mrs. Petty, who went in federal records in levels and depths of Mr. Carter, Mr. Carter, who with IT and technology abuse and then levels of things that are from multi perpetrator multi tort multi district state things like that and then you have people who have played roles in divisive antics prior to that and that adds on more sauce to a divorce that's imminent and looming in this situation and then you have the child proof a child from the omni presence of violence emotional violence economic abuse course control and levels of 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 torturous, abusive, divisive antics to the party that's being targeted. And that would be an example like myself being targeted by these people who are well-connected, wealthy, and have abilities to do this. And then you have community terrorism and community course of control, emotional abuse and torment. And then when you're talking about law enforcement, that was ineffective because these people have connections with law enforcement or law judges and procedures. So then you're stuck in a rock in a hard place. And then some reasons that children will lie or aid and abet in this is when you have guardians that have vested interest in one to steal the child or cause levels of torment, provoke gaslight because they don't like their primary parent or they effectively benefit from the other parties. So when you're talking about that, you have to, they, the reason why children lie is that the other parties that are involved want to achieve power to test the limits of the other parent or target of their obsession or emotional abuse, torment, provoke gaslight. Or to challenge the authority or to challenge the narrative. And then on top of that, to get something which is, hasn't been gotten otherwise. Or to emotionally abuse, torment, provoke, bully, harass, and gaslight. And arouse a level of emotional abuse, torment, and still win something out of the situation without having to give up something. Which means their position of power that they've used to abuse. And then to fulfill w wishes of others who either had an uh, agenda outside of that. Or to break that person down or emotionally abuse, torment, bully, provoke, and gaslight. And, you know, just control the narrative. And then on top of that, to violate the privacy or to punish the other party, me. Or, you know, like other parents have gone through the same exact thing. And then, you know, to violate privacy. And then to avoid having to deal with the consequences of their actions or absurdity. Or, you know, to deny painful feelings or memories that they've invoked in that person. And the levels of abusing their power or their position of power. And using that to evoke a level of fear, upset, torment, provoke, gaslight, fear are levels of safety mechanisms that are compromised like the locksmith unlocking doors when they're the only ones that have the key and then on top of that levels and depths of emotional abuse torment financial course of control community terrorism and then on top of that city state and county levels of complicity in that because these people have vested interests in the city county or they have well connections within that or law enforcement judges lawyers then you have a level of multi-perpetrator violence or people being used as pawns in their mechanisms to target the party that's being abused emotionally tormented or levels and depths of a hostile divorce or levels of vicious cruelty in offboarding or post-separation abuse so when you're talking about levels of keeping a person in a level of uproar and seeing an uproar and getting collected non-conducive evidence or levels of padded evidence or false evidence against the party who's being targeted like myself or causing it on online, offline, making fake accounts, catfish accounts, the things that narcs do, sociopaths do, or Machiavellian, cerebral, somatic narcs do. So when you're talking about those type of things, that's what happens in offboarding and a divorce. And then on top of that, protecting their friends that have caused trouble or caused levels of torment or erosion of that marriage or levels of depths of trying to get something out of that marriage without having to pay for the consequences of their vicious cruelty, emotional abuse, inhumane treatment, or inhuman treatment, or torture, provoking gaslight. And then when you're talking about emotional abuse and then true crimes that have happened and multi-perpetrator violence, and then you're talking about people willing to go to deadly levels to shut that person up, and then tormenting, provoking, gaslighting, or intimidating, there comes a level of legal abuse, emotional abuse, psychophancy, and emotional abuse and torment where all parties involved need to either be going to jail or there need to be charges adjacent filed outside of that divorce. And then on top of that, restitution for the party being targeted, my, like myself. So when it causes levels of economic abuse, course of control, or levels of dramatic upset and uproar, or reactive abuse syndrome, like I've had to display in my situation, children see it and it hurts and harm the child to see their parent being done like that. So then you have to think about to experience fun and excitement to avoid creating an awkward situation, to avoid feelings of being trapped, embarrassed, or threatened, or feelings of painful 
memories and things like that or to protect oneself from harm whether it's the child or the adult being targeted like myself or my daughter then you have to have a level of separation and levels of the parents or other parental figures or guardians that are supposed to be there to help but are doing nothing but being non-conducive or causing levels of workplace hostility then there's levels to fulfill those expectations and to go and learn to how to offboard the child and the parent from the other parties and then get the child adequate therapies that they need so with that being said the emotional abuse the levels of drama and the levels of non-comedic levels of abusive antics that are when there's comedy there but it's the abusers and psychopaths psychopaths and levels of emotional abusers and tormentors provokers gaslighters or guardians that are divisive and want to get the child unethically and wrongfully then there's levels and depths that there has to be a, a stop gap there and there has to be a level of stepping in courts have to offboard all parties that are becoming divisive non conducive to the child and the child get the adequate therapies and the support that they need and the parent as well and restitution for that so when you have a level of people who are unwell and have done scandalous things or emotional abuses things you have to find a way to explain how lying does not afford a effective trust with a child or with the adult and then how hard is it for people to live together and to get along without trust or a level of safety or a level of being safe with a child and offboarding the child from the marriage that is either non-conducive divisive or emotionally abusive coercive control inclined or threatening or life-threatening or harmful to either the child or the parent and like myself example with mr mrs petty mr or mrs allison or levels and depths or mr and mrs carter or other people who are involved mr rest child or mr what Whitfield and other parties that are adjacent multi perpetrator violence and technology abuse, emotional abuse, coercive control, or divisive antics, technology abuse, or emotional terrorism, and you know, inter neighborhood violence, or levels and depths of coercive control or threats that were made. So, in my case, that was what happened, and then threats to lose my job, lose my child, and levels of embarrassment, coercive control, and provoking gaslighting, and the levels of absurdity and the emotional abuse. And when I went to the help, the help was no help because these people had their tentacles well deep off into the law enforcement judges lawyers so it became a level of there's no help anywhere and then when you have to go get a case at a higher level and becomes federal and it becomes state and becomes levels of involvement then there's levels of loss to that child loss to the mother and then years and years of losing your child because of liars or complicity or multi-perpetrator violence there's losses there and the child and the mother become more damaged and the other parties are still living their best life that's not a fair situation in a divorce and that becomes a dish cruelty and post separation abuse and violence and that's where there has to be a step in in that so that's the end of this live with that and our uh, I hope this helps you on reflective listening and to show understanding of the child's underlying needs and then also the parents underlying needs and the need for parents that are involved whether it's three parties four parties or multi perpetrators or levels and depths of guardians that are involved and it's becoming non conducive to the child or the parent and becoming a level of unwellness in those parties and creating a level of animosity and hostility in the parent that other Otherwise, it's not normally not like that, like myself. So then there's levels of where effective communication comes into place and understanding that divorce is imminent and it's going to happen regardless. But there needs to be a healthy divorce and an amicable level of divorce and levels of hostility and levels of divisiveness and non-conducedness have to be reduced and the risks have to be reduced. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time.